Welcome to another video by Jambros Electronic Solutions. Um, today we are going to talk about a diode, um, a semiconductor diode. And um, this is just a simple diode. I just want to show you how you, you test a diode. Okay, so So what I've done, I've, I've built a circuit here, uh, my battery, my switch, my relay, and then we have got these links, which are, you know, conductors. But if you notice here, we have, um, this is a symbol of a diode, okay? This is a symbol of a diode. I'll, I'll come and talk about this more. Uh, we have got a motor here. And so this becomes the negative. And then we have got a bulb that shows that our circuit is, is on uh, or it's off. Okay. So it's a simple circuit. Nothing really difficult um, about the circuit. But what I want to say here, uh, coming back to the diode. Right. A, a diode, um, it, it will have, you know, two leads. You have got uh, one, two, and depending on on which way is, is it forward biased or, or reverse biased okay so uh if it's for, forward biased this is our anode and this one is our cathode all right so you've got an anode and you've got a cathode all right and so this type of a diode here will only allow current to flow easily in one direction and that direction is depicted by this arrow here. That is, if it's forward biased, this arrow here is showing us that current will flow from this direction to that direction. Okay. So, um, so having said that, uh, if we were to introduce current in the opposite direction, okay, going that way, if we were to do that, then we we are going to have issues because uh it will not allow this diode will not allow current to flow in the opposite direction that is from the cathode to the anode there is a reason for that and for now let me just i've got a motor here and i've got a light here and this is how i've connected uh, my diode so if i close that switch you can see that the bulb is on. If I focus on the motor, you can also hear the sound from the motor. Okay, the motor is going okay. Okay, if I if I lower down, you can see that the motor was turning. Look at that. Look at that we uh, color on the on the wheel there. It shows you that you know the motor is going. So there you go. So in this case. It means that uh, our diode is connected in the right direction. Remember, it is a one-way valve. Only allows current to flow in one direction. Unless it is a Zener diode. But this one is not a Zener diode. Okay? Unless it is a Zener diode. So what, what I want to, to do now is to, uh, to do this here. Let me go my next step now i have tend that diode let's see what will happen if i close this switch so there is my switch closed i think you can hear the relay clicking okay so let's let's follow this um we come to here and then we check our battery want to see the voltage on our battery it's full voltage okay roughly 12 volts um so if we come then uh close we come here to 86 we have our full voltage what about if we come here to 87 so our relay is working fine there's nothing wrong then we come here we still have battery voltage perfect we come here we have battery voltage and then if we come here 
we have completely lost our battery voltage completely okay so that's where the problem is that's why our motor that's why the motor is not turning and if you can see the bulb is not on all right so the reason for that is what i'm going to show you now so if i pull out that diode and bring it here okay let me show you if we do that check the mid oh sorry let me change this to ohms because we want to check resistance so if we check it like this okay that's it forward biased okay and you can see we have got 5.1 mega ohms all right we've got 5.1 mega ohms L look at what i'm going to do to the probe i am swapping them so now i'm checking it in it in the other direction if i do that our resistance is infinity so if you see if you are testing a diode and you see infinity and you see a reading on one side then you know that that's exactly how your diode should work there's nothing wrong with it what you don't want to see with the diode is that when you check it on both sides then you get a reading both sides once you do that then you know that the diode is gone it needs replaced you may ask yourself and say but where where is a diode used in a car why are you showing us diodes um, the simple place that i will refer you to one of the simple components that uses diodes a lot is an alternator uh, what i'm going to do i will bring an alternator then uh, at some stage a diagram of an alternator and then explain how these diodes work but what they do they help in the process called rectification because we are produce the alternator produces ac current yet the battery here this battery is charged by dc current direct current not alternating current therefore you need these diodes you need diodes to change ac current to dc current and we call that rectification so in an alternator you have what is referred to as a rectifier so what i'm doing here is just to show you how you test this diode you can do the same test on an alternator especially when you find that an alternator is undercharging. possibly there will be something wrong with diodes and you can test them and make sure that all your diodes are okay or maybe there's one that needs replaced so the reason why when i swap when i turned the diode the other way it showed it, the motor did not go is because there is high resistance on the cathode side than on the anode side so when you introduce current on the, through the cathode side, it will not flow because of high resistance. But if a lot of current is introduced in the reverse direction, you may end up smoking this diode. You end up diode damaging this diode. I think you have seen where um, the 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 the. Um, sometimes on a car when people are trying to jump start uh the the, the 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 engine and then they switch um the connectors to a positive and negative and you smoke the alternator diodes so you really need to be careful about that so that's why we have no flow here there is high seriously high resistance but if i put it this way happy days so if we continue to do the same test we say the battery here we checked our battery let's check voltage again we have full battery we close the switch we come here we have 
full battery we come here we have full battery we come here we have full battery now let's come here a little bit of, of, of a voltage drop there but we still have you know good battery all right so there you are that's how you test your diode simple steps it's not even complicated at all so if i can um if i can then you know sum up what i said i say that a diode is a one-way valve i said current flows um easily in one direction its resistance is low in the conducting or forward direction um and its resistance is high in the opposite or reverse direction and i said a diode has two leads it has got an anode and it has got a cathode and your cathode is your positive your anode is your negative so basically that's how a diode is used remember in the alternator we have got positive diodes and then we have got uh, negative diodes so remember that so that whenever we are approaching the alternator and looking at how the alternator works at least you know first how a diode works and how to test your diode remember to subscribe to our channel thank you for using our channel and please click the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos from ourselves and also please give us your likes we thank you